Une couture. Oui, il veut s'asseoir. On va faire un peu de temps. On va faire un peu de temps. On va faire un peu de temps. L'audience est ouverte. Avant de donner la parole au procureur international, j'aimerais demander à Mme Sekovoti de bien vouloir faire état de la partie des de la présence. ไปหาบ่อปลายทําให้บ่อปลายบ่อปลายพ้องมนตรีรัฐบาลตลาดการตรวจรวมรวมดีมวยหนึ่งองค์กรเพียบบ่อปลายภาษาส่งครบโลก
បាទអរគុណលោកត្រីសាយកលវិធីលេនេះអង្គជម្រះសម្រេចលើសម្រាប់សុំរបស់ជនជាប់ <coughs> ខ្លួនសុំលះបងសិទ្ធចូលរួមនឹងមានវត្តមានដែលផ្ទាល់ក្នុងមតុខ្សាបនាការនៅថ្ងៃទី 10 បានឃើញកំណត់ហេតុវិនិត្យសុខភាពរបស់ជនជាប់ចោតនួនជាដែលធ្វើឡើងដោយគ្រូពេទ្យប្រចាំការវិនិត្យភាបាលថែទាំស
Ms. Becker, did you know either of these individuals? I don't believe so, no. I think they are the sisters. No, perhaps I... Perhaps this will trigger your memory. If not, I'm not sure if some don't know the answer. Just say so. There is a doctor in the case file. That is E. Three. Thirteen. Forty. Thirty. 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 Excuse me, of Funk Coalition and Special Envoy to Europe of the Cambodian Head of State. Were you familiar with the man with that title? And that is dated the 30th of April, 1975. Your Honours, do you recall Ms. Becker, Mr. Caldwell, asking about these individuals? No, I don't recall that. Ms. Becker, for the record, Your Honours, I would like to just draw everyone's attention. To some other documents on the case file. And that is D120. 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 And these are statements from ជាមានចំណងជាងថាស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្រីស្ទ្
Yes. ឆ្លោយបាទខ្ញុំមានសរសេរអនុវត្តរីកុនយ៉ាងមែនសំណួរលោកដាច់ <coughs> 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 ແລະមេត្តាវីគុងសំអុនបាទសម្រាប់គុណលោកវិធានខ្ញុំសូមចំទោះចំពោះសំណួរទាំងពីរនេះ President, I'm happy to adopt the suggestion of Council. Mr. Goodman, in particular, the 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 uh, opponents of the law and regime, and actually the book, they were the forces with Khmer Rouge cadres included. Is that correct? Who had written that? Uh, does any part of that that you're not sure of explain? No, yes. And would you, how would you describe uh, how the treats the American involvement in the Cambodian military invasion at the time of Cambodia? Mr. Goodman, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, I would say that uh, Richard Dutman criticizes the U.S. involvement in the foreign Cambodia as a continuation of the mistakes made in by being involved in the war in Vietnam. Just a bit more than on this. ហើយដើម្បីអាចខ្ញុំយល់បន្ថែមទៀតចំពោះលោកដាត់ <coughs> It was definitely one of the most important Washington Post was the um, Watergate. It was the paper, newspaper of Watergate. And, um, Watergate. Watergate investigations led to the resignation of um, President Nixon. Watergate. It was the paper. It is the paper of the United States. And um, under publisher Catherine Graham and uh, editor Ben Bradley, it, it rose Bradley, to the top ranks. Mr. Dudman at that time worked for another newspaper, uh, St. Louis, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, Mr. Dutman was also a journalist at the Washington Post. Yes, the St. Louis Post was ແລະគឺគាត់ធ្វើនឹងកាសែតមួយទៀតតែក្រុមជាមួយនឹងគ្នាឆ្លោយអ៊ីសអ៊ីវេរីគុដវីជីកាសែតមួយដែលក្នុងតំបន់ល្បីល្អរីឆាត់ដាត់មិនដោយសារគាត់ធ្វើការងារនៅទីនោ
ຢູ່ໂຣດຄອລດເວລສໍຫິມເຊົ້າ và xong chương trình được tham gia anh đã chết hay xong xong nua trong còi mấy sa lang vinh của miền cao bỏ bài phía xa tí hay xong thì pí xong ở lô bình chẹ cả nam miền dương từ lê ai cả xá xong bà chị ai bàn này dứt dứt hay bà ai phơi bán cứ pí đón chỉ cả lò và xa đầm bầy ở cả bỏ bài phía xa nó bán chỉ bán lò lê ai cả xa nâng lê yêu anh phong Thank you. Um, Ms. Becker, I'm going to be a very short sentence that you wrote in your book when the war was over, that's easy slash 20. It appears at page 20 in English. It appears at page 20 in English. It appears at page 20 in Khmer, it appears on page 556. Khmer, it appears on page 556. Ban as a friend of all four revolutionaries, Vietnamese, Thai, Thai and Cambodia. And he was extremely upset at the prospect of war between Cambodia and Vietnam. Is that what you wrote about the man who was killed the last night of your visit? Yes. At that time, up to the country that was an ally and absolutely critical ally to any military prospects for Cambodia in any conflict with Vietnam. Yes, Were there Chinese in Phnom Penh? Your knowledge, Chen, the the
in your uh, understanding of the situation with anything that disrupted relations between China and Vietnam, such as the official in Phnom Penh, have been very damaging to Cambodia's military prospects. That's a little hypothetical. Um, I can't answer that. Thank you, and I appreciate it. I don't want you to speculate. Okay, you can go ahead. Okay, you can go បាទអរគុណសូមចេញលោកសហព័ន្ធយ៉ាងរាជាតិ I'd like you to look at the, I don't know if we have a copy of the notes that you took during your trip, that's E3-1171. I can say I'm not happy. I look straight back at Tran. I pay to a two snack. Look at him. Him so many yard. Oh, yes, I say a quarter mean of cap in that murk. I'm not happy. So many yard be looked in. On the other yard. So, Ms. Becker, this is E3171. I'm going to ask you about something that appears in English, at URN, and you'll see these numbers stamped from the top left. The top left, it should be stamped 008787. The ERN is 00. 72 Just for context, you may look at the preceding page. But is it correct looking at this page? Is the URN that ends in 871? We're discussing your visit to this January dam. Is that correct? ឆ្លោយបាទខ្ញុំបានទៅទស្សនកិច្ចទំនុកឆ្លោយអឺអនទៅនេះផ្សេងទៅថាកម្មវិបាកនិយាយជាមួយនឹងកម្រាត់មាដែលមកគាត់មានអាយុ 21 ឆ្នាំ 
chùa tỷ bấy cứ bàn sơ xe tha mà nó bị bọn nè cứ thua 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 bật tập bị mơ nè tớ có sang tổng nốc nâng lương vừa lại nâng trịch vừa lại ta lúc xe đây bất chỉ bàn sơ xe chùm loại nâng hoa bị trâm xe đại rửa tế rồi bàn bất chỉ trâm xe đại rửa Now, when you visited the site, was work still going on? Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were there were still going on. Some of the people who were A picture of soldiers at the water gate. They ran away, taking their arms. Cadre refused to acknowledge there were soldiers. Much less how many or why they were needed to guard the dance. Did I read it? Yes. So on this work site, which included a number of thousands of soldiers, yes. Now, during, do you recall being told during your visit about whether people in cooperatives were free to leave the cooperatives? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Um, no, we were not told that they were free to leave. Yeah, were you told anything about the system about controlling the movement that you recall? Yes, we were told that they were free to leave. Yes, we were told that they were free to leave. Because I would go out without their permission, they did talk about. And when they told me to go back, they talked about security considerations and the requirement to have permission to leave. Yes, I would have to go back and talk to them about the situation. I have just one moment, yeah. Uh, some, some, a bit of some jammer pleasant. Thank you, I'll move on at this time. Some of gun, Kim, some of the other mocked it. It was mentioned yesterday that there were requests to see and those were denied, correct? Yes, and the requests were denied. 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 That he was occupied. He was busy. It was also mentioned that you had asked to see who named him. What was the response? Did you recall to request to see him? Fellow three ghosts along with you sometimes. 
the request was ignored. I'd like to go back for a moment to the interview you gave at the Peace Arrays and you were just talking about the cooperatives and something actually I should have probably covered yesterday but you witnessed witness the copy of her interview in the Peace I believe she has it. If you go to the last page of that document, on the last page, and this is your E3 it's at ERN in English 2504 in Khmer, if ERN is 0057, zero 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 five five seven eight 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 nine nine, 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 You asked a question, this was your system of justice. The answer from Sari, according to his notes, was in 1975, at the evacuation of cities, towns, we didn't separate the people by base or network. But was in 1976, then began to divide There was great confusion in 1976. Even people who were for a long time were accused of being agents. The first to divide people in categories were Sokim and Nimros. It was not ordered from the top to the bottom. Pol Pot didn't order the division into categories. Later on, in a meeting of leadership in 1976, this division was accepted by the leadership. Collectively, it was decided. Two or three opposed it, but we didn't want a split. As chairman, Pol Pot summed it up collectively. At that time, we divided it up. One, people of the base. Two, the poor people from the cities. Three, the people who supported ຈຳລາຍກໍປະຕິປະດາແມ່ນຊິມນູນໃນໃນເປລຸກສໄລສົມພຽດຊົມຊົນພຽກຄລູນໃນຂົນລະບົບກຳປະຊາພິຊິດ
thể bán kê đôi mình xong rồi đôi chia chấm này ha cho nên được chia phê bình địa ca nghĩa cầm lăng bộ lạc cầm được chia thầm na nó cầm cho nên Now in classic Marxism, as I understand it, on that four people from the cities, proletariat, actually the the base of a communist party. Why was it that poor people were listed in this list? If you know, behind the base people. Why was it that the poor people were divided by whether they were from? The countryside or from the cities. Why was it that the poor people were divided among the cities? Within this context, and the in the last years of the war, beginning with the U.S. bombing and then the intensification of the war between the Khmer Republic and the Khmer Rouge, the population of Phnom Penh doubled, tripled, so that the population of the cities was not necessarily city dwellers. The city became very monoculture of so that when you talk about people leaving the city, going into the countryside, you're talking often about people who were um, displaced from the rural areas during the war and then were only temporarily in the city. That would be the context. Mr. Becker, as someone who was in Cambodia, 1972 to 1974, you saw a lot of people from the countryside to the cities to Phnom Penh. To Phnom Penh. Yes. And I presume that they came for a variety of reasons. Can you explain some of the reasons that the people who came to Phnom Penh came to Phnom Penh? The people who came to Phnom Penh came to Phnom Penh. The people who came to Phnom Penh came to Phnom Penh. Well, as I said, the first huge confusion was because of the American bombing. It would be hard to exaggerate the tonnage dropped and the the amount of villages destroyed, land destroyed. So the first part of until the bombing ended in August 15th, 1973. There's little doubt that most of those refugees came fleeing the bombing, fleeing the destruction. And um, in most of our interviews with the refugees, they, um, they talked about the bombing. They talked about they had no place to go. They didn't know where they would be safe except in the city. Now, at some point, you mentioned the bombing ended. The refugees did they not become coming? American bombing ended, I should clarify. Well, there wasn't much bombing other than Americans. The, the Khmer Republic had very small uh, air force and what they did was nothing compared um, Yes, and um, this had to do with uh, the, the country was being um, severely divided by the armies and um, the Cambodians were fleeing into the city for supplies. There, were, there was beginning of um, refugees of Fleeing Khmer Rouge zones, uh, and there was a there was clear division. This is when we were beginning to get a sense of the difference in the Khmer Rouge zones. But um, you know, some were fleeing the Khmer Rouge zones, some were finding relatives, and um, the majority. Easily, the majority were simply fleeing. Um, there, was a, there was a, a considerable lack of political understanding about what this war was about, not taking sides, just simply avoiding fighting. You mentioned some of these people were in the zones. Did any of them discuss why they fled? Why did they fled the zones? The um, the the um, 
the testimony that was the most complete and convincing on this was a book by a man named Itzer and called Regrets of the Khmer Soul. And this was published 72, 73 probably. And uh, very popular in the city. Um, it showed Cambodia's map with the Mekong making a broken heart. Um, and it, he was a, a, a school inspector. And we discussed it in my interview with Ian Turet. I wrote a big piece about it. Um, it was the first um, almost diary-like discussion of what was going on in the Khmer Rouge zone, um, the lack of rights, the hard work, and at the same time, um, a respect that they weren't that the peasants weren't going to be cheated the way they were cheated with the old system. But uh, this is one of the first times where you had the, the notion of the pineapple with the eyes can see everything. So uh, it was the first sense of the authoritarian police state nature of the zones with some of the corresponding uh, attractions of the, the corruption of the, of the Khmer uh, Republic. And um, that is that was a lot of what it was that you know, you didn't didn't want want to uh, join the authoritarian but again, this was a, one of the best sophisticated documents open to the public. When you did discuss it with the refugees, the lack of, of, of a political basis for fleeing was notable. It was simply fleeing and fighting. Before the fall of Phnom Penh, เมษาจะสําหรับนะบ้านกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุงกรุ
in Phnom Penh after he returned after the United Nations broke with his agreement. Thank you. Yes, I'd like to read a few passages from your book about uh, comments. In French, zero zero six three eight six one. At page four two two. And in Khmer, it's at zero zero two three two five seven zero. Continuing on to the next page. And that's at page five seven two to five seven three. You wrote. Just two days before the Vietnamese captured Phnom Penh, Prince Norodom Sihanouk was in houses of the Chinese. Apparently, strong insistence of the in the diplomatic field. We are in great difficulty. Without hesitation, Sino agreed to help and went on to Beijing. There he held a record-breaking six-hour news conference. He spoke of his three years of house arrest, sleeping no more than three hours each night, pacing the rooms in the small apartment inside the royal palace, cooking his own meals, and listening to foreign broadcasts of the year. Sino, in his entourage, saw no one but Q. Sampan during the first two years. During the final year, 1978, Sino was taken around the countryside each to lift up the spirits of the defense of the coming Vietnamese invasion. So my first question is, who held Sino Vietnamese? under house arrest for three years. Sino um, The government leaders of democratic Kampuchea. Now you also write about the 1975 United Nations General Assembly. And you do this at page 205 and 206 of your book. In English, PRN Continuing to the next page. In French, 0063. Eight four six nine, page two hundred seven two hundred eight. Zero zero two three two two seven three. And that's pages two seven five and two seven six. You wrote the following in the footsteps of Ingsari, who had arrived earlier. Cambodia's new foreign minister, Sihanouk performed well. He knowingly repeated the lies Sa Sari had told the UN that the evacuation had been carried out without bloodshed, that the refugee reports and wholesale executions were unfounded, and the revolution was self-reliant, no need. Of the mission fulfilled, 
សម្ដេចព្រះនរោត្តមសិនបានយើងចាប់ទៅពិធីក្រុងញូវយ៉ក Chicky ដែលធ្លាប់សន្យាសង្គ្រាមហើយពួកគេបានលើកឡើងដោយនឹងសេចក្តីកម្មផ្សេងផ្សេងដែលលើកឡើងដោយពួកជនភាគខ្លួនត
Chấm lời nơi UP đã khi nhóm bàn dìa dìa mùi xâm đá xe nợ nâng Và ông mà chăm mình lấy cư thà ông đang thà nơi khăn ông thì khăn ông phân ông phân Và ta dìa mình dìa ông phí phó rồi mình lùm ớt nâng này Xâm nơi ta nơi bê kà rai mạc lúc xe rây nâng đá rực tế hơi khó thà nơi Bê thà môn bà ông mạc tì kà rong New York He was under house arrest. God started the Kanonka Kung Kluan, the Kanon Bridge of Air, Hike, Dabang, the Chingai, Pina, the Tay, the Zabang, Ach, Dab, the Vit Shoot, and Jup, the Kills and Pond, the Penna Tang Chang Mente. Yes. Jim Lai Pachin Chang. Did you later learn about how many children and grandchildren of Northern Samu were killed during the Jay regime? Yes, I learned that some were killed. Did you learn that and in Kamai, it's 00-23-26-8 at page 620. And for some reason, there is not a French translation, although it has been requested. He wrote in a lengthy written interview. Sinook said he realized the Vietnamese were withdrawing from Cambodia, and he believed that another Khmer Rouge Holocaust is becoming inevitable. Uh, at, at another uh, point you wrote on the next page, Sihanouk is saying, what does it mean if you demand that Vietnamese troops withdraw? Would you allow the genocidal Pol Pot possibility of returning to masses the Kambodia? Excuse me. If you allow, you spread that all over. But what does it mean if you demand that the Vietnamese troops withdraw, but allow the genocidal Pol Pot clique, the possibility of returning to massacre the Cambodian people again? When you spoke to Prince Sihanouk in the 1980s, he explained to you his view about human rights, about how the Khmer Rouge treated the people of Cambodia. He explained to you his view about how the Khmer Rouge treated the people of Cambodia. He explained to you his view about how the Khmer Rouge treated the people of Cambodia. And what would he say about the Khmer Rouge? Uh, he was inconsistent. He would sometimes talk about the genocidal regime was in his quotes, and at other times he would talk about um, uh, the necessity of working with them. Well, are those two inconsistent? Uh, uh, is it Paul in the 1980s ever denied the human rights abuses? The killings of the Khmer uh, Not that I remember. To another topic. Um, briefly. Touch on this issue of Vietnamese. Victims of Khmer Rouge. You wrote on page 242. P P P. And in Khmer, Khmer is zero 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 two three two three two zero at page three two two. 
There was also a new directive in the middle of 1977 to kill off a new category of had learned to hide her Kampuchea Krom family history. Quote, they started killing people with any Vietnamese blood. ຕາມຍົມຍົນຄືກວດ Yes. I believe so, yes. I can't remember, but I think she was. I want to move on and discuss with you the gems who lived in Cambodia uh, from 1974 Um, the Chams are the Muslim minority. And, um, there's a basic bias when I lived here in the 70s. the the Muslim countries of the region, particularly uh, uh, Malaysia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, Malaysia had a strong interest in protecting them during the war. And and during democratic Kampuchea, they were targeted. Uh, the Chams visible in the country uh, and in the world. As you drive around the country, uh, and can you recognize Cham? Yes, I can recognize Cham. Well, certainly by dress. Good. The women wear scarves, the men are in different clothes. And, um, the communities tend to look differently. The most obvious reason they have masks. Uh, uh, they wear the same uh, uh, clothes uh, every day. Uh, they wear the same clothes every day. 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 They wear the same ຕົກສະໄດບານສະເຊນໃນຕົວປີ້ໂດຍຫາ Chun 
Peter had to be. They were considered the best and most ferocious fighters in Cambodia. The majority of Chams joined the Khmer Rouge and were among their ranks until 1973, when, with the inauguration of the cooperatives, the communists declared lifestyle គុំនេះបានប្រកាសថាជនជាតិចាំមានការរស់នៅជីវភាពរស់នៅដៃលែកហើយជាអ្នកប្រឆាំងក្នុងបដិវត្តhas granary copies of the Islamic religious textbooks were destroyed. Chams schools were shattered. perhaps read all of these before asking questions. On page 250, it's the same page that I was reading. The rules that all Cambodians had to follow after the revolution had even more devastating consequences for Chams, forcing them to choose their faith and identity or the revolution in their lives. They had to drop their family and even choose ខ្មែរនេះរបស់ខ្លួនពួកគេត្រូវលះបងឈ្មោះដើមរបស់ខ្លួនហើយជ្រើសជ្រើសឈ្មោះថ្មីជាខ្មែរវិញដើម្បី
ដោយបានសាធារណសុំតាមអ៊ីមេលកុំផ្ដោតសំខាន់ច្រើនពេលទៅលើអង្ហេតនេះហើយសំណួរនោះគឺថាកម្រិតមួយចំនួនតិចត